Hi, here we are again, uh, Tales from the Wood. It doesn't really sound good without the music, so I think I'm gonna have to ask you guys to just play Jethro Tull when, and play that album, Tales from the Wood. I really love that album. Uh, so I'm in uh, the woods in Central Park again, and look what I found, a nice uh, wooden teepee. And uh, inside there's a, a fireplace, well, you know, uh, stones and burned things. So, hello. There's a person. Pretty. Thank you. Isn't it nice? It's a wooden teepee with a fireplace in it. So, Take you too. Bye bye. Oh, isn't that nice? Someone friendly. That's the first. Uh, I, she was um, uh, just an, a nice woman. You know who's been talking to me? Every black guy I go by. Wonderful, friendly, nice, six feet away. And most people are like looking at the ground. Um, you know, of course, if somebody takes a deep breath near me, I'm pulling out the mask because I don't need your, you know viral droplets. How about that, that they're calling it shedding the virus? That is so, you know, who thought you could come up with something that would make dandruff sound hot? Because shedding a virus, not at all hot. So anyway, oh, that was a nice moment. Uh, and oh, look, now she's waving in a tree. Okay, she's fine. Um, but uh, wooden TP with a uh, fireplace, really dry wood. So I think that is a you know what it is? It's a fantastic place for an utter de fe. So, if you're looking, you know, just PM me for the location, which I won't be able to tell you because uh, I never would come up to this part of the park where it's all woods, so I don't know my way around. And maybe I'll have to sleep in the TP. Um, there. It was raining this morning. And uh, not that that would keep me in. I love to walk in the rain. I did wear my rubbers just in case. Um, I couldn't, I would lift up my foot to show you my rubber, but that would imply a flexibility that I do not have physically or emotionally at this point. So, but trust me, I got rubbers. Uh, if you, uh, anybody that remembers back uh, from the radio, I would go on and on because uh, I wanted rubbers because now I don't like to get my feet wet. I have a thing, do not want my shoes wet. And uh, my father used to try to uh, make me wear rubbers. No, not, you know, beat me, lock me in the cellar with the scowler man because there was a scowler man. They always told us that. You can't go into the cellar because the scowler man. And I pictured him as all bony, wearing nothing but a, shot, a shabby loincloth. I don't know where I got this. And if you went into the cellar, uh, you know, he would uh, kill you. So uh, never in my life could I go into that cellar with any kind of comfort because I'm pretty sure he was real. Why am I talking about the scowler man, my rubbers, Anyway, uh, couldn't find rubbers. I uh, finally have rubbers. They were a gift. And uh, I love them. And it's very sunny out here, so now I look like a fool. But that's good. I don't care about that anymore. Um, rubbers. Rubber baby bumper. Fuck. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. I got it. Yes. Yes. Um, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. Where's the peck of pickle peppers Peter Piper picked? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers... What did the woodchuck do? I, I can't remember all these things. Um, uh, seashells, seash no, she sells, she sells seashells at the seashore. I used to sell uh, seashells on South 17th Street in Philadelphia. So I was kind of got good with the um, S's. I went to uh, Temple University. Look, I'm just now going to reminisce, apparently. Uh, I went to Temple University and uh, I stayed in Philadelphia because I got a job at a seashell shop, again, always on the career track, clearly. And uh, it was a fun job, because uh, weird, one time some guy came in uh, to the shop and uh, he wanted to suck my toes. So you can tell I was pretty. And uh, you know, it felt fine. <laughs> Did she or didn't she? Only her hairdresser knows for sure. Um, gross, you think I did? Mm. Although I liked his. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, I liked Philadelphia. Uh, I had a great apartment on uh, Spruce Street. It was a fourth story walk up. And uh, uh, one, one time, uh, my best friend Joe was there. He was always there. He was really my gay boyfriend. I love a gay boyfriend. I really do. They're, they're just honestly the best. You can get absolutely everything you want in a man from a gay boyfriend, except that they don't make you date all the time. So, because straight men are, you know, really, you know, insistent on that, you know, they like it. And 
I mean, it's good exercise, I don't mind it, but you get my point. With a gay guy, no problems. You're just gonna talk and talk and have a blast and he's probably gonna clean and uh, it's just it's just a really good thing. But anyway, he was over one time. I was in the bathroom and uh, somebody knocked on the door. Ugh, you still, just don't even, you don't even try knocking on my door. But uh, Joe, I uh, answered the door and I'm in the bathroom. I hear somebody's at the door. I don't know who it is. I am not in the mood. So I climbed out the window and uh, onto the fire escape and climbed down four uh, flights of icy metal rings or whatever it was uh, into a courtyard. And then I just had to come around and come back in because I didn't have a coat on. I was in the bathroom. I wasn't prepared to climb out the window. So, you know, that's something we can put on our prepared list. Wear coat in case you need to climb out your window. So, you know, live and learn. Um, we, another, another one that happened, uh, I wonder if I ever, I might have told you this at some point in the distant past, but since I don't, don't even know how many people heard me then, I'll just repeat myself. I like to repeat myself anyway, it's kind of a hobby. And it's not early onset, it's just something I like doing. Um, but uh, we were in the apartment and uh, he didn't live me there, but you know, again, we were always together. And uh, he had just started going out with some guy named Dean and I had just started going out with some guy named Dana. So uh, somebody knocks on the door and Joe goes over and opens it again. Apparently there's a tick with him. He couldn't stop opening doors. And uh, he opens the door and there's this uh, really good looking guy there. And uh, I come over and, uh, you know, all friendly because, you know, I think, you know, I'm gonna be nice to his guy. And he's being really nice to this guy. And then the guy is looking perplexed and he says something, I don't remember what he said, but I look at, at Joe and I go, isn't this Dean? And he looks at me, he goes, no, isn't this Dana? And I'm going, no, it's not Dana. Why do you just think it's Dana? Right? So we just sit there, we're talking to each other like this. The guy left. Um, I don't think he ever spoke to me again. I think he, he was, he, I think he was a name. Well, he probably moved, um, probably scared. Although, who could blame him? Um, I've lived in my building now, the one I live in in New York for 42 years. And I don't know anyone. So I, th I think that's an accomplishment. Um, there's a couple of people I will smile at now, but uh, let's not go crazy with that shit. Honest to God, not in the building. Because, uh, you know, like I, we had this doorman and by doorman, I mean guard, because that's the neighborhood I live in. And uh, every single time I wanted to go out, he wanted to know how I was. You know how I am? I am fine. I am fine. I was fine 10 minutes ago when I went out. I, I am fine. I just drove me crazy. So I don't make friends in the building. Um, I always say I'm not friendly. Uh, in a way, I'm not in a way I am. Uh, here's the thing. I loathe the, the human race. I mean, who doesn't? They're disgusting. But I like almost all the individuals. So it's tricky. It's tricky that way. Um, anyway, I keep playing with a stick. So good times. It's only the beginning. I just keep count. I think this is my fourth day of not seeing, uh, I mean, you see people walking uh, by, like that nice girl who has stopped waving to the tree, so I think that's a positive sign. Um, but, uh, you know, you're really alone. And I think this is going to be a very interesting experiment for everyone who doesn't live with anybody who really just stays by themselves. I wonder if I'll start to drool. Oh, well, time will tell. Um, uh, I'm going to go now. Uh, get ready for the auto de fe. See ya.